Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. In this lesson we're going to work on the Irish uh, jig, The Green Fields of Woodford. It's one of my favorite tunes of late. Uh, it's a great tune in the key of G. I'll play it through once so you can get a sense of what it sounds like, and then I'll break it down into sections so you can learn it by ear. I do recommend trying to learn it by ear, um, it's really great practice. That said, if you need help with tabs or standard notation or chords to play along with, uh, those are available over at my website, mandolessons.com, um, as well as play-along tracks, so I can play the guitar and you can play the melody, or I can play the melody and you can play the chords along with me. Um, there's also a bunch of other lessons. I put out new lessons every Thursday. Um, if you want to keep up with those, you can subscribe here on YouTube to this channel, or you can sign up for the mailing list at mandolessons.com or find us on Facebook. Uh, there's also a couple ways to donate over at mandolessons.com, which is always appreciated, um, but not a necessity, as my lessons will always be free. I'll get back to the music and play, play it through once, and then break it down into sections. The Green Fields of Woodford, Irish tune, jig in the key of G. One. There's the tune. I played it twice because didn't quite play the A part right the first time through. Ah, but anyway, really lovely jig in my opinion. Um, so I'll break it down into sections. One thing I was noticing as I was playing this is it's almost entirely open strings, fifth fret, and second fret. Um, so you'll hit the second and fifth frets a lot on the D and A strings, um, and you'll hit the third fret on the E string occasionally but really it's mostly open five and two. So the first phrase sounds like this. It has one pickup note that's an open E string, and then the downbeat is on the open E string as well. Again. Again. Next. Again. those together. Again. Again. Next phrase. Again. Again. Next phrase. Those two phrases together. Again. Put that first half of the A section all together. Sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Again. Again. 
Next phrase, the same. And then we have the ending phrase. Again. So that's the whole A section. It kind of loops around a lot. Sometimes, you know, having that minimized number of frets you're hitting, you know, it's all twos, fives, and opens, it can be a little disorienting. Um, but let's play through the whole A section um, twice through. Sounds like this. One, two, and here we go. Sorry, I'll try that again. Here we go. That's the B section. Uh, sorry, that's the A section twice through. Moving on to the B section. Starts with an open A string pickup. First phrase sounds like this. Again. Again. Next phrase. Again. Again, put those together with the pickup. Again, next phrase. It's the same as the first. Last phrase of the first half. Again. Two more, one more. That first half of the B section sounds like this all together with the pickup. Again. And the second half sounds like this. Which is very similar to the first half, and the ending sounds similar to the A. It's not identical, but it's fairly close. So the first half of the first half of the second half of the B part, it's getting a little confusing, but here's what we're gonna play. is all old information, and the last phrase of the B part. Again. Again. One more. All right, so let's play the whole B section um, twice through. With the pickup, one, two. And it would 
start over at the A again. So that's the whole tune. Um, hope you liked it. If you need any help with particular sections and want to look at the tablature or standard notation, check out mandolessons.com. Let's play it through um, A, A, B, B at that tempo. A part sounds like this. As a reminder, one, two, and here we go. That's the whole tune. Thanks so much for watching. Again, tablature, play along tracks, standard notation, chords to play along with. More lessons over at mandolessons.com. I'll play it through one more time, a little up to speed. Maybe throw in some other notes here and there. Um, vary it a little bit. So here we go. Went back to the first phrase of the A part just for fun. Um, but there you have it. Thanks so much for watching and hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.